We're going to talk about an, a rather unusual um, uh, supporter of live jazz. The best way to describe them is that they are a presenter of live jazz. Because at the moment, they do not have a building. Let me try to get, shed a little light on this. Um, Ruth Price is a jazz singer who made it to California from Philadelphia. She was a Philadelphia native. And she made it there probably while touring with Charles Mingus. Uh, Mingus had some time out in California. And after that, she did some work with um, uh, Johnny uh, Smith on guitar and uh, a couple other people that uh, Shelly Mann, uh, drum, drummer. And uh, she was quite successful as a jazz singer. Um, later on in her life, she started just booking entertainment into various venues around the LA area. If you needed jazz, call Ruth. She'll hook you up with somebody really good. She'll handle all the paperwork, contract, making the contract. She knows everybody, and she gets you a great artist and a great deal. And you know, all you got to do is make that phone call, give her a little commission, and we're ready to go. So she did that for a while, and that was working out really well for her. And then a friend of hers who was a photographer had a studio that was in a small part of a building that was called the Helms Bakery. So she started presenting concerts on a regular basis in that photographer's studio. And that is how the name Jazz Bakery <laughs> evolved, because it literally was jazz being presented in a bakery. Well, evidently Ruth knew what she was doing with selecting entertainment and making the presentations because this thing proved widely successful, so much so that they could not be contained in the uh, photographer's studio anymore. So they moved to the main bakery building itself and was pretty much filling it up um, with uh, regular concerts. And uh, who's who, once again, uh, you name them and they came through there. Whether it is Terrence Blanchard or Wayne Shorter or we can go on and on. You know the usual suspects here uh, that play real jazz. They are the people that uh, Ruth Price uh, had her contacts with and they were the people that she chose uh, put on stage. Abby Lincoln, uh, Max Roach, uh, people of uh, that level of uh, jazz musicians, just the real serious uh, people. Um, she um, ended up, uh, after a few years, uh, losing um, the room she had within the bakery so then once again, she started um, producing events under the name Jazz Bakery at various uh, locations around uh, the LA area, Culver City and the like. Um, and this was quite successful, but uh, when you don't have a place, one place, um, your crowd has a difficulty following you sometimes. And there was a big public uh, uproar over this situation. So initially she got um, a arts concern, gave her a $2 million grant as seed money to start uh, finding a building. Um, Culver City, the city of Culver City gave her uh, a plot of land that was adjacent uh, to one of the largest theaters they had in their theater district uh, in Culver City in hopes that she would build upon that, blight, that, um, that plot of land. And she even has a uh, architect who is designing a building that will be specifically designed for the presentation of jazz music as well as an adjoining art gallery because you find quite often that uh, jazz musicians are also visual artists such as Miles Davis was and so many others 
who enjoyed uh, painting um, as a uh, hobby, I guess, um, uh, when they were not practicing or playing and touring. Um, so that is the plan. She's going to get this brand new building uh, in Culver City. It is being planned. It is being designed. We're still raising money for it. But in the meantime, she's still presenting these um, live events all over um, the LA area under the banner of the Jazz Bakery. And remember, it's called the Jazz Bakery because of its earlier connection to the Helms Bakery uh, in the LA area. And once again, the president and uh, chief architect of this wonderful uh, tradition in that area is uh, Miss Ruth Price, who herself uh, toured and performed and recorded as a professional uh, jazz artist uh, and vocalist. So hats off to Ruth and the work she's doing and let's hope that soon and very soon we'll have a new building designed specifically for jazz performance and visual art called the Jazz Bakery. <laughs> have a good one folks, thank you very much.